in the quarterly essay, I've tried to look at the Islamic State, or what's also known as ISIS, which really burst onto the scene in the middle of 2014 and really impinged on people's consciousness for the first time when it captured uh, large parts of Iraq in the summer of 2014. But in fact, it goes back more than a decade and it comes out of the result of our own strategy after 9-11 and the way that we engaged in some um, very ill-judged uh, strategic decisions around the Iraq war immediately after the 9-11 attacks. So we're dealing with a different kind of threat and it's a state-based threat. Islamic State is currently in the process of disrupting, turning upside down the Middle East and drawing into a much wider conflict. Uh, in, in the essay, I talk in a bit more detail about what a strategy might look like in terms of dealing with the Islamic State. But fundamentally, it's about changing our mindset and thinking about this less as a problem of terrorism or of radicalization. They're both issues that we actually have a pretty good handle on after all this time. But thinking about it more as a disruptive, totalitarian, aggressive state that has the potential to generate a massive regional conflict in the Middle East that could dramatically affect Australia uh, and all other Western countries by disrupting the global economy, uh, creating massive, unprecedented refugee flows uh, and inflicting enormous loss of life and geopolitical chaos uh, across Africa uh, and the Middle East.